Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Power Rangers action figure mini review on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Hasbro Goldar. If you're trying to get your Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures, you can do so at Megalopolis City of Collectibles, where you can get your daily deals, and they also have a whole Black Friday sale going on. Check them out, link in the description below. And I have picked this up, uh, I picked it up actually only a couple weeks ago, and man, I love this figure. And this mini review i do have all the accessories so yeah i'm a little bit more prepared than i was uh the second to the last time so this thing right off the bat i gotta say i think is incredible uh, first off you get this awesome looking lightning effect right over here this purple lightning effect which is all blurry at the moment but as we focus it looks fantastic i love this translucent purple it looks so good, man. So yeah, I'm really happy so far with the lightning collection effects that we get. So really stoked about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the 4K because I like 4K. It looks so good, especially got the 4K TV. It looks even better. And then he comes with interchangeable hands and the sword. Uh, looking at the sword, I'm not going to actually take the sword out of his hand. I'm just going to get a closer look at it. Uh, I guess this is like the only part of the figure that looks like a little on the cheap side. It's just the dull gray plastic right here. Just looks a little weak, but you know, I do like the red paint that you're seeing right there you turn around you can see it on the other side that looks pretty good too pleased with that get some ridges right over here on the edge so nice looking sword and he comes with two sword hold sword holding hands and then two fisted hands now you can see the other fisted hand right over here and then actually this is not a sold a sword why do i want to say sold a sword holding hand and yeah nice gold paint on there now to look at the head sculpt oh my goodness this is so freaking awesome. I'm so pleased with that. Look at that, man. That is great. I can just hear him, Goldar. Oh, man. That looks so cool. I guess maybe they could have added a little bit of black paint detail or something, like some of the wrinkles and creases, but really, I do like how he has this whole baboon-looking face and everything. Looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to turn down the lighting just a little bit. You can see some of those details just a little bit better as I do that. That is great. The red eyes look great. I love how the teeth came out right there. That is awesome. The little fur fang thingies right here on the side look great. And the gold throughout looks really good. At first, I was a little bummed out because there are some parts that are just gold plastic instead, uh, like the helmet right over here. But I do like the gold plastic. It doesn't look bad at all. The wings came out looking really good. On the, on the back of them, it's just a solid black color. But on the inside of the wings, you get this nice touch of like a bluish gray color. So that really extenuates the sculpt. I really like that a lot. Nice touches of little green right here. And I love seeing the gold paint over the gold plastic like we're seeing on the shoulder pad. And we get some of that right here on the upper torso. Some nice picked out details with the red and the green. Really pleased with that. I mean, I'm just really pleased with the figure all around. So I'm going to say that several times throughout the course of the review. Really pleased with that. Really pleased with that too. And I really like that. And I think that's hella sick. And I think that's really cool. Okay, and he's got his tail right over here. Kind of remind me, I know it was tucked around like that. You could just wrap it around your waist if, you know, like a Saiyan or something, but I guess you could do that too. And that's uh, his crotch piece right there. The legs do look like they have a little bit of marbling on them. It looks like more like battle damage than marbling effect. So if there's marbling in there, it's very subtle, but I like the little dents sculpted in there and everything. Knee pads and shins and everything. Gold art toes look great. And he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Really good looking piece. Man, I like that attention detail with the tail right here. That is super cool. Okay, so on to the articulation, uh, which is fantastic. And I'll just take a second to focus right over here. Still getting used to the new camera. There we go. Okay, so uh, the head will move up just that much, not a whole lot, and it will move down only that much. You do get side-to-side -side motion, but you got to move these kind of out of the way so that's a little tricky to do a little bit of head pivoting right here we get great wing articulation however i will say these did get kind of loose on me as you can see they will flop down so you could rotate them they hinge in and out i did need to use a dryer to get this hinge to work i felt like i was going to break it so it's still a little finicky with for me and i just really don't want to break that so you can hinge this part of the wings right here and they also rotate uh, he has kind of loose eh, the plastic right here is soft enough where you can get his Shoulders outward that far, they will move down, rotate forward, rotate back, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that make him bend at 90 degrees. All the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. He has a diaphragm joint, diaphragm pivot, crunches forward. I love that we get an ab crunch and the diaphragm joint right there. So with those two separate joints combined, he'll move forward that much and back. 
this is all soft that's all soft so it doesn't hinder anything i like how it's all nice and clicky right there too hips move outward just that far he will kick forward that much uh not back at all upper thigh cut double jointed knees i love the art uh, i love the articulation on the ankles uh, you can't move the ankles downward that much and not really up so that's frustrating but you can turn them side to side and you do get beautiful ankle pivot so yeah really good articulation on this absolutely love it and ugh, getting this all set up, except just those wings get super loose on me, man. So that's very unfortunate. But, man, this figure looks so damn cool. Very, very happy with it. Now, to measure it out, I'm going to scroll this right down right there. Focus over there and look for my measuring tape. And you can see that he is standing uh, just a little over the six and a half inch mark right there. I do have the Lightning Collection White Ranger, which I did a Patreon exclusive of. And you can see that is standing just, you know, pretty good height compared to Goldar. Looks about right to me. And then I also have Lord Zed, which I love. Oh, my God, this figure is so awesome. I think I picked it up over at the Minnesota Nerd and Out Con. And, uh, yeah, I love this figure. I'm doing a Patreon exclusive review on this guy very soon. So if you want to be a patron, you will see an exclusive review on this guy, which, oh, my God, that figure is amazing. And then lastly... Uh, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Uh, and I, yeah, no stop motion today, you guys. Stop motion will be back on the channel, though. Don't worry. Uh, by the way, uh, this content is for adult collectors. I have to say that now. And uh, I have received free product from Hasbro before in the past. Uh, however, this was not free at all. So, yeah, things I have to say, things I have to say, things I have to do to keep this channel going. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of this mini review. And if you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it over at toynewseye.com. Hit the subscribe button. If you want to be a patron and support what I do here on YouTube, check it out in the description below. I will have a fully edited video for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go teach some, I'm going to teach drum lessons right now and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.